if you watched Rick and Morty this week, I think it's time for you to open your mind. Open your mind. I mean, if that doesn't get you to open your mind, frankly, I can't help you. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am here to go over Rick and Morty Season 7, Episode 7, 777, The Lucky Slevin. That's right, we're going to talk about Rick and Morty this week, and it was a doozy because it felt a little bit more like a South Park episode where they took one joke and tried to ram it into the ground. So... Uh, as I've been reviewing these, it's been pretty good so far. I really do enjoy Rick and Morty. I'm okay with the repl replacement voices, and I'm okay with everything else. But what I'm not sure about this week... And, and look, Rick and Morty is kind of one of those shows where you get winners and losers, right? There, sometimes there's great episodes. Sometimes there's terrible episodes. It just depends. You're not always going to get the wieners. Sometimes you get some losers. This one involved a little bit more of summer, so let's get a little bit into it, and I'll give you my opinion, and guess what? I'm going to give you context. I'm going to open your mind, because I'm assuming most people who watch this, well, let's not say most, I have a cynical mind about myself. I'm going to say an awful lot of you don't know what this joke is from. Even though they repeated this joke in the previous episode, in episode 6, there was a, uh, during the fight between Rick Prime and our Rick and Evil Morty, there was a Quato reference. There was a Quato Rick. This is very fashionable. I think they got some uh, Gen Xers in there to write this show. So let's get into it. Let's take a look. Rick and Morty Episode 7 with spoilers. So, let's take a look. There's some pretty okay jokes, and there's been not a lot of Beth and Summer, so this was a summer episode. And I'm okay with... I, I don't need, like, week like week after week of summer episodes. I'm okay with, like, a summer episode, because it always gives her context. And part of her character, she's underappreciated. So, you if you get doses of something that's underappreciated, you're going to like it a little bit more. Well, this one brought Summer into the mix, and Summer has been cleaning up Rick's garbage for years, I guess. And she's been doing it so that she could get herself some upgrades. She's got a couple of super slick upgrades, which will end up hurting her because all she ever uses her upgrades for is for social st status. So she's been cleaning up Rick's messes. She's been feeding his fish, his evil plants. And she gets all sorts of different uh, upgrades. And that plays a part in the episode where she's got a ponytail upgrade. Well, she wants to impress another boy. And she wants an attribute slider. Which is something that Morty's been begging for but can't get it. So Morty's jealous. And Summer gets her upgrade. And she can slide. So she's playing with her intelligence during this party. It's a this is not a good joke. Frisbee and golf. It's a froth party. Both of those things are stupid. Frisbee golf. Well, frisbee golf is stupid. Sorry if you like playing frisbee golf. It's just not a good joke. Let's not call it froth. <laughs> Let's call it something different. Frisbee golf is just a bad joke. So they keep playing with the different um, with the slider, and then and then. Morty gets into a fight because he's jealous because he wants to be all swole and, and cool and all everything. And they get fused together. And Morty is growing out of Summer's belly like a quado from Total Recall, which I promise you I will get into. I will show you this. So Summer gets made fun of. She runs away. She asks Rick to um, fix everything. And he says he'll fix it if she does more chores. So she stops doing chores and starts to do this on her own. She meets up with a quado club. And Morty keeps saying, open your mind. And I promise it will all make sense soon. Summer starts making friends with those who have quados. Obviously, it's a setup. She gets almost sex trafficked. But instead, it's Morty who gets trafficked. They're going to burn her up. And she um, figures the whole thing out. Figures out the Jesus-like guy is just, he's hes transplanting Quados because whatever. And 
<laughs> so anyway, uh, Morty is being sold to the highest. He, Morty's the one who's getting trafficked. Then you have Beth sends Rick on. Uh, Beth is like, where's the kids? And Rick's like, they're totally just cleaning up. I'll go get to So then he figures it out that she's been, that was one of the good jokes where Rick just keeps beating people up and he's starting to enjoy it. Long story short, because I just don't want to spend that much on this episode, is that it's like Quado Inception. There's a Quado inside of a Quado inside of a Quado with Quado knives. And even the post credit scene, like, guys, you don't need to bang. It's like you beat it with a dead horse. You beat a dead horse. In fact, if you remember, there's a joke from South Park from many, many years ago about Jared from Subway, where he wants to give the world AIDS because he has two AIDS that he works with, and he'd like to give the rest of the world AIDS, but because people think it's AIDS the disease, it's they just beat the joke into the ground, and that's what this felt like. They just built uh, beat this joke into the ground, and I just didn't think it was incredibly funny. I'd give this one... This is one of the lower ones of the season, like maybe a 6.5, 6. Let's give it a 6. It's got a couple funny moments, but it's overall it's not that funny. And the post credit scene is not all that funny either. And I'm okay with with these type of episodes because with Rick and Morty, you kind of need them. You need some breaks. I, I wish it was a little tighter. Uh, clearly, they have hired some Total Recall fans. So let's let's show you what a Quado is. Oh, Quado, open your mind. So Quato is a person built into another person's chest. Spoilers for Total Recall, a movie that came out 30 years ago, I guess, at this point. Not even sure. It's it's old. It's starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he goes on Mars and has crazy adventures. It's a great movie. You want to watch it, but it's an oldie. The practical effects still hold up. I think they're pretty good. If you like chicks with three boobs, you're going to like it even more. It's one of those just crazy 80 movies, kind of like Robo RoboCop, which you're just like, what, what is even going on here? I don't understand, but, but let's play it for you. We'll give you a little bit of it here, just a taste of Quato, and we got to help you open your mind. Open your mind. <laughs> open your mind. Open your mind. Okay, so that's like a, that whole joke is essentially uh, they talk about like the psychic supreme, the psychic connection, and in Total Recall, Arnold's character who has had his mind lobotomized, he 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 goes, he's trying, he thinks he's a secret agent, and he's trying to figure out what there's some sort of conspiracy on Mars. And long story short is that this Quato character lets him know about the conspiracy and like what's going on. So he's got a psychic connection and he's the leader of the rebels. So that's why it's cool to have a Quato. Everybody should have a Quato. I don't have a Quato. But anyway, uh, that's the joke. Just wanted to give you some context. So if you didn't know what a Quato was, now you know. You get the joke. It's a little bit of a one note. I, I like the idea. I liked it in the Rick and Morty fight or in, in the Rick Prime fight. But in this, to make a whole episode about it, you kind of hit a South Park wall there where you're just beating a dead joke. Uh, beating, a, yeah, beating a dead joke like you beat a dead horse. So anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed this because I know I did. I know you did. We all enjoyed it. Gave you a little context. Opened your mind. And if you'd like to open your mind even more, join us on Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we do our live podcast. It is, it's a blast. You're going to enjoy it. You can also catch the thing. It's free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. It's good for the soul. But um, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, I'm on to the next one.